Hello, this is Dawn from Dan to Be Creative. How are you guys doing today? And I am so behind on my haul videos. You will see quite a few of them back to back. They weren't all made the same day. Um, but I have been traveling, doing presentations, and my daughter's been traveling. And so, been busy making the presentations, traveling on the road. Then she's traveling, we've been missing each other, so I haven't had a chance to get a camera, I haven't been home. So, life is good, but I just haven't had a chance to do any videos and shopping when I'm out of town. So, anyway, I used to put stuff up on my um, Dare to Be Creative one Instagram, um, and I posted these, I just haven't had a chance to do a video. So, I went a couple weeks ago to TM, and I found the um, Template Studios. We are memory keepers, and if you recall, Sorry, I had to shut the door. <laughs> if you recall, um, these are just like the We Are Memory Keepers punch boards, you know, except, so it does, these are the same thing as these, except these are for larger projects. And I actually bought these, not so much for me, but for my daughter. So I haven't talked to her and asked her if she wants these because I keep forgetting to show them to her, even though I have them. Um, but I bought them thinking, since she does interior design, that maybe she could use this somehow. Um, even though she doesn't do like party planning per se. But you know, um, sometimes she just does decorations instead of just the full gamut of interior design. So it depends on the person she's working with. I thought maybe this might be something that she could use. Um, so if she doesn't, I may take it back. I may keep it. I don't know. I do have this fetish for <laughs> tools so I don't know but anyway that was my thinking so I'll probably take it back if she doesn't want it but anyway so the temple template studio like I said of just a larger version of the punch boards to do the same thing except on a larger scale if you want to do it some DIY projects so the first one and these are all $7.99 and I will read the code and you can look up the SKU um, type in the, the 1-800 number and uh, call and see if they have it in your area if you're looking for it. This one is 1887532 and these are very large so you won't be able to see everything in it. This has two pieces but this is the large scale flowers and these started, all of these started making projects from the size of 12 by 12 sheets of paper from that size and up. So as large as the piece of paper you can get. Of course they sell large paper pads as well which I did buy just one this is a 16 by 20 and this is 4.99 and it was 187.1254 this is dcwv we are memory keeper also sells them papers this is the glitter pack neutrals gold silver and i believe like chocolate gray patina it's a beautiful color so this was 4.99 it says regular price of 15 bucks which is I wouldn't probably pay for it. Anyway, um, you can use poster board and you can use other types of things like that um, if you have large papers. But anyway, you can use 12 by 12 sheets as well. So the first one, like I said, is the flower one and the digits on this one is 1887532. So the only thing different would be the last two numbers. And it's going to be a little blurry because of the plastic. So sorry about that. See the sheen is popping off the plastic. But anyway, these are some of the, the flowers that you can use. And of course, you can use this at home decorum, uh, weddings, and different stuff like that. So and these are just the large pieces. And in here is two pieces. So that is that one. And this is an example of what the temples you can see. Okay, most of you have seen this. This is in Hobby Lobby. Um, actually, Hobby Lobbies actually have these on sale right now. They don't have the temple template studio masterpiece one on sale, but just the individual ones like this. So that's what it looks like, some of the stuff that you can make. So that is a large flower. The next one, the digits, the last two digits is 35, is 187535. Two pieces. And this is the large scale candy boxes. So you basically cracker boxes. Put the little candy in them, you know, pop candy. So these are what they look like here these all six so that's the one right there and that is the template studio right there which I will show you so the next one the last two digits is 30 and this is the large scale file folder so this would be neat of course you can do all kinds of crafting stuff out of regular 12 by 12 um, 
folder, things that we make, flip books and all kinds of things like that. But you can also personalize your home office. So if you have a particular color you like, you can make your own file folders out of this. And of course it comes with, all of these come with their own booklets as well. So again, making your own file. Sorry about that glare. This plastic is really shiny. Um, and the next one is the circle maker large circles so you can make the circles on this one to give you an example like a charger just for decorations on the you know something festive if you're having a dinner party or celebrations or holidays or something and then this is a cone like a um, paper cone or paper hat that you could decorate they just put some tinsel there you could also make like the little cookies although that's not one but I was just thinking out loud when I saw this cone that you can make like the fortune cookies um, out of this and again it's two pieces and that's just giving an example of the circles. And then the stars, 4th of July, something like that, you know, whatever. Um, you can make these large stars. So if you want to put them on the wall, you know, decorate it. And then you can modge podge them, you can make them stiffer. So, you know, you can preserve that paper to make that paper hard as well. And the last two dishes on this one is 33. So, and that's what that looks like. And then the last one that they have out is the bow. And these, of course, like I said, you can make some a 30 inch bow, so it can go really huge. So whatever size gift bag you make, because you can also make gift bags, you'll be able to make some bows to go along with it, so. And the bow number is 29. And they actually don't show you right here, the bow. So the only one I didn't have they didn't have was the pillow box guide. That's the only one I didn't see. I think, I get, yeah, because I got the cracker one, but I didn't get the pillow box. Yeah, that's the only one I haven't seen. And you know, I hate getting all of them get not, and not get one. <laughs> but anyway, um, and then I was gonna go get the temple, the template, can you say temple? The template studio and um, I wanted to, you know, it's like, well, it's no good in having these pieces if I don't get the temples, the template studio. And Hobby Lobby, of course, sells this for $75 with a 40% of coupon at Hobby Lobby would have been $48. But Friday, the day is Wednesday, the night before Thanksgiving. So on Friday, I was in Tuesday morning and lo and behold, they had them out $24.99. So this was, you know, 75% off. Anyway, so these are some of the things on this picture right here. If you can see it, it's kind of a close camera angle, but the flowers, the party hats, the crackers, these flowers, or candy treat bags, whatever you want to call it, the pillow boxes, the gift bags, the stars. You can't see all of this stuff. But anyway, so mainly party decorum and the gift boxes. Um, it makes envelopes. Um, so all this in here, so it says easy, easy, um, create large scale gift bags, envelopes, boxes, decor, and more. So if you're interested in that, then you can, here are some of those images of the boxes, just like the board itself and envelopes. These envelopes you can make with some depth in them. So when you packing something in it, you can make the envelopes with some nice depth as well as larger than your traditional ones that go on the smaller kit. So these pretty much big. You see, you make a huge, huge box and stuff. So um, they sell 22 by 28 inch paper poster boards, um, but you can buy anybody's poster board because they can cut it, you know. And this reminds me so much of Creative Memories. Um, oops, these right here, which I also got an extra one of these for $2.99, and it is the blade. And it's 1887536. But this is the system that Tuesday morning had was to cut everything. Not Tuesday morning. Oh, God, I'm sleepy. It's late. And I gotta get up early to travel. Um, creative memories, nice to sell creative memories, these blades that we use to cut around on stuff. So anyway, whew, I need to go sleep. I just want to tell you guys, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging in there, and hopefully I will be more consistent real soon. I still haven't forgot about my Cricut series, so I got more cartridges. I made some um, projects. I haven't done the videos because I've been debating if I wanted to do the videos um, showing you how to make it or just showing the product. Um, so that was been the issue, and I didn't have the 
camera to record me making it, but I made some of the cards and stuff that I had promised I was gonna make out these cartridges, but I haven't done a video with it because I was like, okay, do I need to go back and remake one so I can show you how to do it or do I just show you what I made? So anyway, I gotta figure it out and then I will do that and get some of those. Um... Okay, <clears throat> sorry about that. My card was full and it crashed. So anyway, I think I was talking about the Cricut cartridges, but before I do that, I'm mean a Cricut series. Also got this blade. I don't know if I showed this in the video. I don't know. Um, it's 188-7536. And this is an extra one just to cut. It reminds me of the Creative Memories blade when I was a consultant. They used to use it for our cutting. Anyway, I was saying about the Cricut series. I haven't forgot that I will be up and now I have what I think 14 more cartridges. But anyway, um, I just I made a couple projects I just haven't done any videos on them because when I made them I didn't have the camera and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a how-to video or just show the finished project so that was my dilemma trying to figure out which one I should do or if I should do the finished project and then go back and then have attached to it the um, process video so if I'm going to do that I need to go back and remake some of those so I can show you the process of what I did anyway that's what I'm debating on and some of them are kind of simple so and then some of them a little bit more work so it just depends but I'm trying to figure that out and um, probably need to get my own video camera so that way I had to keep borrowing her camera that we used to record with I just don't know what kind to get and I just haven't had the time to go and research one life has been busy but exciting so anyway, I'm just going to ramble. I'm so sleepy and tired, but I just want to tell you guys have a wonderful, don't eat too much turkey tomorrow. Well, I don't know when this video will be up. It may be on Friday. <laughs> um, but anyway, have a wonderful day and I dare you to be creative. Take care and God bless. And thanks for all the likes and subbies. Bye-bye.